Hi you guys, welcome back to the video. This is going to be part two of my unpopular opinions on the wedding series. If you didn't see part one after this video, go ahead and head over there as there's no particular order. Now without holding up, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, I kind of stressed this between part one and part two, but I want to give this unpopular opinion in a different light. Realize that when you're stressing about your wedding on your wedding day, that the wedding will not happen without you. At the end of the day, even if the event planner is, yeah, 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 oh, you gotta go, and you're stressing out, I can't pay you, all right? Don't be me, don't be whatever, but be clear that at the end of the day, this is what I want and do what you want and get what you want out of the situation. Even if it takes people waiting on you, again, if your guest is waiting on you and you are not on time, be mindful of the time, try to be on time, but don't stress over time and don't take out of what you want for the time because at the end of the day, the wedding will not happen without you. There will be no wedding if you don't show up to it. So unfortunately, people just need to wait and they might have something to say, but at the end of the day, half the people you ain't going to see for a long time anyway, and they'll be okay. Because even if you do everything right, like I said before, they going to still have something to say. It is what it is. So might as well get what you want out of it. The next unpopular opinion is I feel like open bars should be mandatory. If you want people to have a good time or make it to where you have an unlimited like signature drink. But at some point, I feel like if you're going to have a wedding, that open bar should be like a thing. If you want people to have a good time and you want people to not leave early or make it part cash bar and just have only a signature drink. I'm just saying in my situation, I'm low key mad because I had an open bar. But people didn't know that I had an open bar because the setup that they told me they was going to have the open bar at, they weren't there. So they actually tried it because they ended up putting my open bar under the escalators and no one knew because I had it in a dark venue that it was actually there until towards the end of the night. Should have reported them. Another unpopular opinion is make it mandatory for your bridesmaid to stay with you the night before the wedding. That way, you ain't got to worry about if people are on time. And the reason why this helps is because when the makeup artist, the photographer, the videographer, the hairstylist, and all these people need you to be in place, you're not worried about where this bridesmaid at, where this bridesmaid at, da 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 da, da. Make sure you get a place or Airbnb that is good enough to comfortably store these people that the bridesmaids have personal areas where they can still relax and hang out and lay down when it's not their turn but i think it would create a lot less stress trying to figure out who ain't here who not here who supposed to do this who supposed to do that or also if you need last minute stuff you can be like hey you i need you to go to the store you i need this i need that whatever because they're here for you right they're here to help you so making it to where they're available to help you makes a lot of difference. My next unpopular opinion, make it kind of mandatory. I think it should be mandatory that you should have a makeup artist for touch up after your wedding vows. I know a lot of people nowadays are sending little makeup kits with the makeup artist leaving after they finish the makeup and they get these little makeup touch up kits. But a lot of times things don't go as planned. Having that designated person whose job is to make sure that you look good in these photos would be the world. Cause let me tell you, I did not have that. I actually paid a lot of money. Like the biggest regret a part of my wedding is my wedding makeup situation. My makeup artist was supposed to be there for touch ups, but she double booked, pretty much put me in a tough situation where she wanted to take both gigs and end up leaving after. <sighs> On top of that, she didn't put no primer or nothing to keep me stuck in place. Even though I told her I'm extremely oily and to not put gray on my eyes, she did both. And when I got to my wedding, I was an oil bucket, but 
of course, I had no idea. When I look back on photos that I got from my wedding, I am shiny. I absolutely hate that. And especially getting married at an aquarium at night <laughs> and you have to have flash on me made it so much worse. My next unpopular opinion is don't do that little guest book signing where they just sign in their names like roll call I'm here like you ain't never gonna look at that again have a situation where you can make it a little fun to where it'll be good to look at again I personally did the photo shoot we had people sign on a canvas around our face one of my friends she did the Polaroid camera one the little fun fun one y'all know what I'm saying that one where they you know take couple photos and then stick it in the book I love that idea actually I would advise them if you're gonna do something like that have someone in place to take the photos for the guests because I found that people were like taking multiple pictures or was it taking it right and they kind of used up all the camera film that even about time the people in the wedding was trying to do the same thing there was no more film left that would be my advice my next unpopular opinion is wait a few days after the wedding to decompress and then go on your honeymoon so for example we personally had a wedding on a friday night we didn't go on the honeymoon to tuesday and I love that concept because one, that way you have time to put all your gifts away if you have gifts, really set up your house, have time to unwind and really set up for the honeymoon. And that way you can go with like just pure excitement and not just exhaustion. This would be a time best to have it set up to where maybe even like have extra time that somebody, maybe the cousin since they're in town, watch the kids even before you go on honeymoon so that you can just sleep. <laughs> this one I would 100% say do first looks. I was a person who was 100%, 100% against first looks. But now that I have plenty of experience, I was thinking that it would be traditional and there was a way that you were supposed to do weddings. I thought I wasn't supposed to be seen and different things like that. But I feel like a lot of the stress will be alleviated in the process of getting married if you do first looks. Have those personal moments. Get all your photos out the way, people. Photos, photos, photos. And then that way when the actual ceremony happened, it's just like whatever happens happened because the biggest moment was already out the way. My next unpopular opinion kind of piggybacks off of what I just said. Unless you're doing the first looks proximity to the, to the venue should override the beauty of the location unless you're taking your first looks. And the reason why I say that is because nine times out of ten you're going to be running late, okay? You're going to be running late. And if you are running late, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you're super far from the wedding and you already have a cutoff period. You know what I'm saying? But I will say, if it comes to you getting your photos and you are happen to be far away, get your first photos and cut off the tours in the wedding. Make the wedding short. Because at the end of the day, if you don't have everything that you personally want, it doesn't really matter. Because the dance part, like, doesn't really matter for real. You know what I'm saying? So, I'd rather complain about the wedding being short than not having the moments that I want to have. But being close to the wedding will make it to where you won't have to do a lot of rushing. That just takes a lot of stress out of it. The last unpopular opinion I'm going to say is... And this is something I take to heart because this is something I wish I would have done. And that is do what's best for you. Don't worry about traditions. Don't worry about what grandma and mama and daddy may feel. Because at the end of the day, right, we're grown. And nine times ten, mommy, daddy, whatever, don't know grown you. And don't know what it is that you truly want. If there's something or a style that you want this wedding to be, do it. Don't care about what people think about the style. Don't don't care about will they would this be received a different way? This is your day. This is what you want. This is all about you. If you didn't understand, do you get my vibe? Like this is all about you. And I feel like these events, even like the proms, that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day. This has started to become more about other people when you're spending your heart on coin. And this ain't about nobody but you and the person who's spending the coin. So spend it wisely and realize that you're, this is one day 
you're spending all this money on. So I'm like speaking to myself in hindsight with a lot of these unpopular opinions of what I would have done differently. So I didn't know any better because at the time that I was in getting married, I never been in a wedding or seen a wedding. So I had nothing to go off of. One of the things that I wish I would have done differently and I worried about tradition is that my God brother, him and I was like so tight at the time. And I had him be on my husband's side instead of my side. And he had a girl best friend and he had her on my side because tradition. But at the end of the day, like that's his friend and that's my God brother. And I feel like it would have been so cool to look back at those pictures and see him on my side with the girls and her on his side with the boys because that's just the honest truth of what it is and that was the relationship and that's how it's supposed to be so if you don't take anything out of this whole unpopular opinions just understand this is about you and no one else so these are my unpopular opinions this is going to be all for this video hopefully you like this unpopular opinions if there's anything else you would like me to talk about <laughs> And I have a couple, but definitely love you guys and see you guys in the next video. Bye.